Well, hello everybody. This is Dr. Rob Lindsay at Vallejo Health and Wellness Center. And, uh, well, we're going to do a series of uh, a few, I think three videos here, uh, short videos to talk about this thing right now, these seasonal allergies. And we've had a, a lot of inquiries from our, our patients saying, man, my allergies have kicked into high gear. What can I do? So I want to take a few minutes and talk about that. The first thing is to understand that you are not alone. Of course, a lot of people are suffering with these allergies. Something like 55 million uh, Americans have it. Um, that's like one in four uh, people have some kind of uh, allergy. And the numbers for just things like what we call allergic rhinitis, and that means inflammation of the nose, you know, the runny nose, that whole thing that goes with, um, with uh, the, uh, these seasonal type allergies, something like 30% of adults and 40% of kids are dealing with that. So you're definitely not alone. So let's talk, well, what is an allergy? You know, what, what is this thing? Because people say it all the time, well, I'm allergic to this, I'm allergic to that. Well, really, uh, when we're talking about seasonal allergy symptoms, you know, such as, you know, runny nose, that's one of the, the common symptoms, itchy eyes, um, congestion, these things are caused by an immune system that is, it's responding to something in your environment, and uh, it, it's, a, it's a hypersensitive response. And it could be to a pollen, it could be a, to a dust, it could be to to a mold, like snow mold. Uh, it could be to, to, to dander. And the reason that these responses are occurring is that your immune system is on high alert and uh, it's due to some kind of a chronic inflammation that's going on. It's actually due to something that's going on under the radar that's already in your body, typically. And your overstimulated immune system uh, becomes hypersensitive, okay? It becomes um, hypersensitive to things that are in the environment like like pollen or or uh, the, the trees are uh, you know are giving off some kind of a uh, reaction because they're they're pollinating you know so the result then is that these symptoms that you feel the itchy eyes uh, the congested um, people will often get what they think is a sinus infection so what I want to talk about for a moment now is this this seasonal allergy and this gut health connection. So what we know is that your gut, our gut, plays a, a huge role in our immune function. Matter of fact, uh, what we know from the research is that somewhere between 70 and 80 percent of our immune system is right there in the gut. Um, and so it's the place in your body that interacts with things from the outside, things that come in when you, uh, on your food, when you, uh, you can breathe it in and it can actually end up going down into your gut. Uh, in, in the things that you drink. So it's the, it's the connection between your body, really, and the outside world. And what it does is it takes in nutrients from your food, of course. You eat food, it gets into your, into your gut. And when I say gut, I'm predominantly talking about the, uh, the, the small intestine, okay? So food gets uh, taken in and it goes through the wall of your intestine into your bloodstream and it gets carried around your body. The other thing that this immune system does in your gut is it's supposed to keep out certain things like, like bacteria, you know, like viruses, like, like uh, parasites, like fungal, like heavy metals, um, like undigested food particles. We, we don't want those things getting into our bloodstream. So that's why the, the key, really the ultimate key to reducing uh, the seasonal allergy symptoms that you're having is really to calm the inflammation that's occurring in your gut and then to restore your immune system's balance. So what I want to do is I want to take a moment and talk about uh, this thing called leaky gut syndrome. So we're going to talk about leaky gut syndrome in the next video. So stay tuned. Thank you very much for watching and uh, check the next video. Thanks.